Hare Krishna, I got a uh, good question, or at least an entertaining question, let me put it that way, uh, that I'm going to read in its entirety. It's a little long, uh, but it goes like this, and this is from Anonymous David Darcy. I'm writing this as an anonymous because I'm too shy to write my name. My question is, what is the qualification to get Krishna as our husband? I'm married, but I would like to secretly marry Krishna, just like the gopis. That's because I don't like my husband anymore. He's very mean to me and not reciprocating at all, despite all my efforts. Then, when I was in a sad mood, I read about the Rasa dance in Krishna book, and I got a desire to have Krishna as my husband, but without divorcing my material husband. Is that possible? And what is the qualification for an initiated ISKCON follower to get Krishna as their husband? Uh, okay. Uh, here it sounds like uh, anonymous Devidasi is initiated, which means she's chanting 16 rounds and following the regulative principles. So that's, that's good. Uh, just because a uh, husband is not ideal is not necessarily the reason that now, all right, he's not a good one, so Krishna's a better one. I mean, Krishna is the better one. Uh, but everyone should accept, male or female, should accept Krishna as their husband, uh, or at least as their only shelter, which is what a husband actually is. The gopis technically never got married to Krishna, although they saw him as their pati, uh, as uh, their only master. Mami kam sharanam braja, and this is what Krishna asks of us uh, in the Bhagavad Gita. But uh, either in Iskan or out of Iskan, there's no method, at least that's bona fide, to officially marry Krishna. Uh, it's a, a internal commitment that takes place, uh, and uh, the qualification is that, yes, one takes full shelter uh, of the Lord. If someone has that qualification, and that's a fixed qualification, and once someone is steady in that, not whimsical, not when, well, when my husband's nice to me, then I want a divorce from Krishna, uh, but one is actually fixed uh, in that commitment, then then yeah, one can consider oneself to be everyone should consider uh, that Krishna is their only shelter. That's what Krishna consciousness is about. That's what spiritual life is about. So uh, we're going in that direction. Uh, the qualification is real purity of the heart. Uh, and one will be able to do that when one is here, reads about Krishna, regularly hears about Krishna, knows who Krishna is, has faith in Krishna, has affection in Krishna, has love for Krishna, uh, then, we can, uh, then we can marry Krishna. And in the meantime, we should continue on with our family life. Yes, no question of getting a divorce. Uh, and Srila Prabhupada would, uh, uh, on occasion, to different disciples, ladies, tell them, yes, now you should marry Krishna. Their circumstances were such that uh, there was no other uh, man in their life or something uh, to the uh, effect. So Prabhupada said, well, ultimately make Krishna your husband because that's what everyone needs to do. Hare Krishna.